वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद द चैप्टर मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ सी द केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ मेटल्स ओके इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस चैप्टर व्हिच वर रिलेटेड टू द मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल रिएक्शंस और द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स so let's start this so metals are generally having metals are the substances which are generally having one two or three electrons in their outermost shell that is also termed as the outermost shell of an atom is also termed as the valence shell okay so in their valence shell they are having how many electrons one two or three electrons so it means that they will have the tendency they will have the tendency to lose these electrons in order to form a cation having charge having positive charge equal to the number of having positive charge equal to the number of electrons loosed okay for example let us say i am denoting metal atom by m and the metals as they are having the tendency to lose electron okay so by losing electron they will form positive electron uh, ions okay so if they are losing n number of electrons okay if they are losing n number of electrons so n number of positive charge will be attained by a metal atom and this metal atom where this metal ion which is for having this positive charge it is termed as cat ion okay it is termed as cat ion and as it is metal so it will be termed as metal cat ion now as this metals are having positive charge so naturally they will react with the substance which is having a negative charge okay so generally generally the substances the substances which accepts this loosed electrons here okay so they will attain what they will attain n number of negative charges and this positive and they will be termed as what they will be termed as anions and generally these substances are non metals okay they are the non metals so the metal cations okay the metal cations react with the non metal anions to form ionic compounds okay they form ionic compound when this both reacts with each other they form ionic compounds so in the further part of this chapter we will uh, briefly describe i will briefly describe you about this ionic compounds presently i am giving you a knowledge that i am giving you hint that when metals and non metals the metals which are having positive charge and the non metals which are having negative charge when they gets attached with either each other to form a chemical bond that chemical bond is called ionic bond and that compound which is formed due to the combination of a positive uh, electropositive metal and a electronegative metal a non metal is called ionic compound next this was the chemical property for metals and non metals okay so now let's start seeing the chemical reaction of metals so first we are going to see the reaction of metals with of metals with oxygen so i can write a general formula for this particular reaction of metals with oxygen here the general formula will be metals plus 
oxygen and generally this oxygen is taken from the air the metals will react with the oxygen which is present in the air to form metal oxides to form metal oxide which is a basic oxide okay which is a basic oxide now i have given this metal oxide name as a basic oxide okay so let's see why we are calling the metal oxides as basic oxide so for example let's see for some examples for the formation of metal oxides so let us say we are taking sodium okay so sodium metal reacts with the sodium metal reacts with the oxygen of air oxygen present in air in air at normal room temperature only okay at room temperature to form sodium oxide which is basic okay which is a basic oxide which is a basic oxide so here the reaction will be na 2na plus o2 sorry here it will be 4na okay it will be 4na o2 will give 2 na2 o which is a solid substance oxygen is gaseous here sodium is solid here okay so this sodium oxide which is formed out here it is having basic nature it will show basic nature okay next and why we are calling that this uh, oxides are having basic nature so the reason is that when sodium oxide dissolves in in water it gives sodium hydroxide which is an alkali okay sodium hydroxide an alkali okay so here the reaction will be na2o will dissolve in water will dissolve in water to form naoh na2o will dissolve in water to form NaOH. Okay. So hence, which is an alkali, so it is showing what which kind of nature it is showing basic nature. Similarly, similarly, potassium oxide also when dissolved in water, it will also give potassium oxide when dissolved in water. It will also produce potassium hydroxide. Potassium. hydroxide which is also an example of an alkali so hence here we are seeing that this particular uh, oxides of metals are forming what they are forming um, alkali in water solution which is showing that they are having which kind of nature they are having basic nature there next in case of magnesium it does not react with oxygen at room temperature okay for some different metals okay these were the most reactive metals the potassium sodium okay these are the most reactive metal which are generally reacting with the oxygen of the air in normal room temperature only but but magnesium okay let's talk about the magnesium magnesium does not reacts with oxygen reacts with oxygen 
एट रूम टेम्परेचर बट ऑन हीटिंग मैग्नीशियम ओके बट ऑन हीटिंग मैग्नीशियम इट बर्न्स इन एयर इट बर्न्स इन एयर विथ इंटेंस हीट विथ इंटेंस हीट एंड लाइट टू फॉर्म बेसिक ऑक्साइड ओके इट ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स बेसिक ऑक्साइड ऑफ इट ऑल्सो फॉर्म्स अ बेसिक ऑक्साइड ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड ओके विच इज अ व्हाइट कलर पाउडर ओके विच इज अ व्हाइट कलर पाउडर सो द रिएक्शन हेयर इट विल बी टू मैग्नीशियम टू एम जी विल बर्न इन एयर टू रिएक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन गैस टू प्रोड्यूस हीट एंड लाइट एंड टू फॉर्म अ व्हाइट कलर्ड एश दैट इज मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड ओके सिमिलरली ऑक्सीजन डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर पार्शली टू फॉर्म मैग्नीशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ओके ऑल्सो दिस इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अ बेसिक नेचर हाउ इट विल बी कन्फर्म वेन मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड is dissolved in water so it will produce uh, sorry no heating is required here it will produce magnesium hydroxide okay, which is also an alkali next for aluminium aluminium also burns on heating aluminium burns on heating in air to form aluminium oxide okay but this aluminium oxide is having a different nature it is having a unique nature that aluminium when burns in air to form aluminium oxide al2o3 but when this aluminium oxide is dissolved in water it will not show any kind of either not any basic nature or either not any acidic nature okay so that type of substance so, sorry sorry uh, on uh, uh, reacting it with base it will show basic uh, acidic nature okay aluminium oxide is having a unique nature that on reacting with acid they will show basic character and on reacting with bases it will show uh, unique basic character okay with acid it will show basic character and bases it will show acidic character so hence they are termed as amphoteric compounds okay because they are having both kind of behavior as acidic as well as basic so hence they are called as uh, <coughs> amphoteric oxide when they are reacted with hcl al2o3 they are reacted with hcl then they form 2 alcl3 plus 3 h2o okay so here you can see that here they are acting as a base when reacted with uh acid they are acting as a base here and forming salt aluminum chloride which is a salt here similarly when reacted with when aluminum oxide is reacted with alkalis then they will form their salt that is sodium aluminate okay sodium aluminate which is also a salt and water will be formed out here so here here also you can see neutralization reaction is going on but here aluminum is behaving as an acid so as the uh, aluminum oxide is possessing both kind of nature it is also having basic nature as well as the 
acidic nature also therefore it will be termed as the aluminium oxide will be termed as an amphoteric oxide they are termed as amphoteric oxides next the metals like iron okay metals like iron or zinc or uh, uh, chromium etc they does not burn in the air even on strong heating also okay iron metal does not burn in air even on strong heating also even on strong heating but they react with what but they react with oxygen oxygen to form iron oxide okay and the condition which is necessary to form iron oxide here is the moisture of the air must be higher in order to complete this reaction okay if the moisture in the air is higher then this the, the, then the uh, speed of the or the rate of this reaction will increase also okay and this reaction is termed as rusting of iron this is the corrosion of iron or rusting of iron okay so here the formation of ferrous oxides takes place but here no burning is required here the moisture of uh, moisture in the air is required due to which the uh, ferrous or the iron reacts with the oxygen present in the air to form uh, rust okay next next is the reaction of metals of metals with water reaction of metals with water okay so water uh, reaction of metals with water can be in the two forms when a metal reacts with water reacts with water that is with cold water or with hot water okay either with cold water or either with hot water then the products okay then the products formed are then the products formed are metal hydroxide metal hydroxide or metal oxide or metal oxides okay generally these two uh, kind of uh, products will be formed out there either they can be metal hydroxide or either they can be metal oxides it depends on the type of water which they, we are reacting with or the process which we are following out if we are reacting the metal with cold water then there will be formation of metal hydroxide take place and if there is a uh, formation if the if we are reacting the metal with uh, steam or hot water then there will be metal oxides formed out there okay now here the reason okay the the metals metals which are highly reactive okay the metals which are highly reactive will react with cold water will react with cold water to form metal hydroxide metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas okay metal hydroxide will be formed with hydrogen gas so the general reaction we can write here as metal plus water 
which is called will give metal hydroxide with hydrogen gas okay metal hydroxide with metal uh, with hydrogen gas now for example here the reactive metal such as potassium i am taking potassium here which is reacted with water and it will readily react with water to form potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas will be released out here with high amount of heat okay and this reaction is so uh, reactive the potassium is so reactive that very enormous amount of heat will be released at once and it can cause explosion also similarly sodium also reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide hydrogen gas will be released and heat will be released out here also this reaction will be also that much uh, 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 rapid this reaction will be so much rapid that it can cause the explosion there okay similarly calcium can also react with cold water calcium can also react with cold water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas okay but here heat will not be evolved that much amount of heat will not be evolved or heat will not be evolved here so it is not that much uh, explosive or dangerous reaction as comparison to that of the sodium and potassium but we will see that the magnesium magnesium and other metals which are less reactive does not react with cold water they will not be reacting with the cold water but they react with steam to form metal oxide okay they will react with steam to form uh, sorry uh, not in the case of met, uh, magnesium okay here magnesium will not be there magnesium case is different here the case will be for the if i am talking about magnesium only so magnesium reacts with hot water okay it will react with hot water not with not with cold water to form magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide so reaction will be mg plus 2h2o heat will be required out here so here magnesium hydroxide will be formed with hydrogen gas okay hydrogen gas uh, magnesium hydroxide will be formed out here next the less reactive metals okay the less reactive metals such as iron uh, such as aluminium okay and uh, uh, zinc etc reacts with steam okay they will be reacting with steam to form metal oxides metal oxides okay so here 
aluminium when reacted with water which is steam okay this water is not water this is steam sorry it will be g here okay so it will form aluminium oxide and hydrogen gas will be released out here similarly zinc can also react with water that is steam to form zno plus h2 gas will be released out okay less reactive metals okay less reactive metals uh, such as iron uh, copper gold silver okay gold silver and platinum are the copper gold silver platinum they are very very less reactive metals and the iron is also less reactive metal so they does not they does not react with water as noble metals as noble metals are present below hydrogen in the rea reactivity series they are present below hydrogen in the reactivity series and hence and hence are unable to displace hydrogen from water okay noble metals such as gold silver platinum copper etc they are as they are present below hydrogen in the reactivity series so they are having less reactive nature as comparison to hydrogen so they will be unable to replace the hydrogen from the water and hence they will be unable to react with water okay they will not be reacting with water in any way so this was the reaction of metals with oxygen and water in the next class we are going to discuss about the reaction of metals with dilute acid and reaction of metals with other metal salt solutions also we are going to see the reaction of metals with other non metals also okay we are going to see the reaction of metals with non metals and uh, this will be the rea chemical reaction properties or the chemical properties for the metals so for today's class i am ending the class here only we will meet in the next class thank you